unlike the last recession, is we haven't cut capital. Uh, it'll be 10 billion next year, and um, we're going to build that infrastructure that a wealthy country needs and should have, um, uh, economic and social infrastructure. Because I believe we need a government that will inter intervene to transform society, particularly in areas where the private sector has failed. Dublin Transportation Advisory Committee, John Henry was the director, but he was very good. And he said, sometimes beware of the unintended consequences of good intentions. Building around the idea that we're not all commuting long distances, and we are actually developing close to public transport centres, and, and not around roads for all networks, which, which has been our model for 50 years now. Irish society, and indeed global society, has changed permanently in some fundamental ways. Uh, there is a great opportunity now presenting itself to socialists and social democrats to lay out a vision for a fair and better functioning society. Levels of low pay in the Irish economy are far higher than in any other developed economy. It ranges from 4.1% in Belgium, the best performer, to 24.1% in the United States. And Ireland is on the 23%, the second highest of the countries analysed. The struggle for human rights in, in uh, nation states previously has shown us is that these rights haven't been granted by benevolent rulers. They've been fought for by citizens and that's really the way in which the progress will develop over the, the foreseeable future.